fellow cyborgs and welcome to an update check-in with mon with mon month with one month to go in 2016 of my 2016 book illusions. I will link that video down below because I go in depth talking about my goals for this year and today I'm just going to give you a bit of an update and tell you what I technically have to do by the end of this year. So at the end of last year slash perhaps the beginning of this year I talked about how I wanted to get to five specific novels over the course of 2016. I'm happy to say that with the completion of Moby Dick and Revolutionary Road both this month in November that I have successfully read all five of those novels. I'll be talking a bit more about these two in upcoming wrap-ups and reviews so keep your eyes peeled for that and you can check out me talking about those other three books in both the Book Illusions video linked down below and also reviews or other wrap-ups earlier in the year. These were the two stragglers and I finally got to them. I also announced that I was going to try my darndest to finish three beloved series over the course of 2016. So far, I've only managed to finish one, which is the Imperial Roch Trilogy by Anne Leckie, the last volume being Ancillary Mercy. I read this recently for the book Buddyathon, and I gave it five out of five stars. It was just so much fun and a wonderful end to such a beloved trilogy of mine. As far as the Harry Potter series goes, my plan was to reread the first six books and read for the first time the seventh and final book in the series. I marathoned the first five books in June, this being the fifth, The Order of the Phoenix, and then I haven't touched the other two books since. So I have a month if I want to take this goal as seriously as possible to read both the sixth and seventh books, which are quite as hefty, probably about a similar length, if not longer than The Order of the Phoenix. So we will see we will see. Wish me luck, but Harry Potter might not actually get finished this year. Skullduggery Pleasant, on the un other hand, will certainly not be finished this year. Upon reading the short stories in the short story collection Armageddon Out of Here, also by Derek Landy, I realized that I really didn't remember enough of the details of the first seven, yeah, the first seven novels to read the 8th and ninth and be fully impacted by the ending of such a long series. So I have worked my way through rereading and more importantly re-listening to the first four books. This is Dark Days, the fourth book in the Skullduggery Pleasant series. So I'm hoping to perhaps in December, but if not, certainly in the upcoming year to finish out books five, six, and seven as far as rereads and finally get to books eight and nine in this wonderful series. I also mentioned in my book video the fact that I had recently acquired four Virginia Woolf novels. To date so far this year I've only read one which is To the Lighthouse but I really really enjoyed this and I gave it four out of five stars and think I'll be rereading it for the rest of my life. So fingers crossed I will be getting to one more wolf by the end of 2016 but you'll have to wait for my end of the year TBR to figure out which one it is. I also aspired to read a bunch of the nonfiction that were already on my shelves which included an adulting book, a couple steampunk books, books and also a Harry Potter and philosophy book. I have since unhauled a lot of those pop culture and philosophy books because they just haven't been doing it for me. The philosophy isn't as detailed as I want it to be and the references to the work themselves aren't as literary as I wanted it to be, but I have still hung on to Harry Potter and philosophy, which I'm hoping to get to upon completion of the series, which may or may not be happening in the next month. I have read some really great nonfiction this year. I've been listening to quite a bit of it as well, but I just still haven't made a priority of the nonfiction on my shelves, at least the nonfiction that have been on my shelves for a while, which is unfortunate, but that's fine. I'm still really enjoying my reading and I think I'm still learning a lot and that's of course the important thing. And finally in that video I talked about the Persephone books and how Manya by Anna Gamainer translated by Kate Phillips, which is this guy, is the last Persephone on my shelves that I need to read before I'm allowed to buy any more Persephone. And then I received three other Persephones, four other as gifts. I have a lot of Persephones on my shelves now, but I only read Heat Light by Helen Hull this year, which was a buddy read with Jamie. And so I definitely have not gotten to Manya and I don't need to think about buying any more Persephone at this point because I have quite a few on my shelves that I'm really eager to get to, but just haven't made the time. Hopefully next year I will get back to Persephone's as I'm hoping to bump up my classics game and Persephone's are under known classics in my opinion. So one day Manya, I will get to you and one day I will read The Morning Gift by Eva Ibbotson, 
which I wanted to pair with this because Eva Ibbotson is Anna Gamainer's daughter, and I thought that it would be a fun duo rating. So in any case, I will get to you eventually, but this is not going to happen by 2017. So that is my update of my 2016 book illusions. Yet again, I did not take them that seriously besides the five books that I wanted to get to in the year. And I think that that's just the way that my book illusions are going to have to be. They're going to have to be guidelines, not rules. And I'm not going to need to beat myself up about it. Though, if all goes well and zero by 2018 becomes a reality next year, then I will be getting to those nonfictions on my shelves and I will be getting to the Persephones. So fingers crossed, we will see what happens. Let's see how many books, how many fantastic books I can fit in by the end of 2016. Please look out in the upcoming future, very soon upcoming future, my end of the year TBR, where I'm going to show you the books that I am planning on reading in the month of December to close out this wonderful bookish year of 2016. Please let me know in the comments down below how you are doing with your bookish goals of 2016 now that the countdown is happening and we have 31 days left of this year. Thank, thank, thank you for watching and as always, continue to be lovely. And thank you patrons for your continued support. Knowing that you are a part of this channel in a very special way just warms my heart and makes me feel oh so encouraged to continue reading some things that perhaps intimidate me or intimidate? Mm -hmm. Intim intim intimidate? I hope you don't regret being a part of this channel even if I cannot use my mouth properly.